Hey everyone, um, this will probably be my last video post for the night, um, because it's so late. But I told you guys in previous videos, I have been trying to, um, play catch up, uh, putting up these videos, and, um, I've just had so many, I've had so many dreams from the Lord lately, uh, and each one has a different message, and I, I, honestly, I'm not even going to share all of them, because I feel like some of them were just more personal for me only, and, but the ones that I feel led to share, I am, I'm kind of, I'm going to put two dreams in this video, because the first dream is so short, and they both show how the Lord is going to protect his own. And so in the first dream, I was riding a bike and I, I, I know I was trying to get to a safe location because the weather, the weather was so bad in the dream. There was crazy lightning and there was storm clouds and um, it wasn't raining, but there was just so much lightning. And I remember I was on my bike and I turned down onto this road. And I don't know why I turned onto that road. And I, um, this road in the dream I had actually seen in a previous dream before. And the the dream that I had before, um, this, okay, so let me explain what the road looked like. The road was, I don't remember if it was either like a cobblestone street or if the ground was just so cracked up that maybe that's what it looked like. Um, but it was an old road, I know that. And on either side of the road was these old buildings that used to be like shops, maybe like from like a downtown area that were now um, abandoned and boarded up. And at the end of the of the end of this road, there was uh, it was a dead end at the end of the road. There was a chain fence um, at the end of the road and there's like maybe like field and stuff behind that. So um, as soon as I turned onto that road on my bike, I recognized it. I recognized the road from a previous dream. And in the previous dream, I had gone down to the end of the road and there was a trap at the end of the road. And somebody from one of the buildings at the end of that, um, that road had been just standing there, like, waiting to snatch whoever came. Like, uh, I don't know if they were going to kill whoever it was that, you know, they were just some, somebody really bad was waiting either in a building or just outside of the building in the dark and was just waiting for someone to come by to uh, kidnap, snatch them off the streets. And um, anyway, in this dream, though, I turned the bike onto the road, recognized it, and the Lord said, turn around. So I turned around. And that was the end of that dream. Um, and then... The, the next dream, I was by myself, and I got onto a, uh, a, um, a boat to go somewhere. I think it was like a ferry, and when I got onto the ferry, uh, I, you know, you have like the parts where you can stand, um, you can stand outside you know, where the railing is and you can watch the water 
or they had a, an area that was covered in case like maybe it rains or something or it's cold and I went inside the covered area I opened I opened the door went in and in this room of people there was a bunch of of men in there and they were all dressed in black from head to toe and I remember I couldn't see their faces in the dream it was like they were pitch black like their their skin their hands their faces were like the same they were like so black they were like this color of my shirt like just not even like they were like african-american or anything they were just like not normal people like um and they were all really agitated at my presence just my presence being in there they were not because i was a woman and they were like in men form but it it, it had nothing to do with that it was it had something to do with something about me about my character or about um maybe my my beliefs and they were so angry and I I wasn't afraid of them at all actually even though they were so there was so much hate you could feel the hate I walked past them to the other side of the room and out the other door to go to the back side or the other side either the front or the back side of the ferry and uh, I was now outside and I just thought well they're to avoid issues I will go out here by myself and give them their space and just try to keep to myself but again I will tell you I was not afraid I felt very confident I was just trying to avoid the conflict if possible and as I was standing outside I um, that covered room had windows all the way around it so that when you were in there you could still look out and see the water and also the doors on either side of that little covered room also had a window on the door so when you would either enter or exit the door you could see through the window before you know if there was somebody there well um, I was standing outside and I could hear that these people were getting more and more and more aggravated, even though I had totally separated myself from them. They didn't want me there at all. They didn't want me anywhere near them. Even just, even just seeing me through the glass, just seeing me through the windows was making them so crazy. Like, like absolutely out of their mind, crazy. And I started to hear them say, um, they, they wanted someone to come, someone just needed to do it. Someone just needed to come out there and grab me and throw me into the water. And, um, they were so evil and they were talking about how it would be, they couldn't wait to see me get, um, like sucked underneath the, the ferry, underneath the boat or whatever kind of boat it was. Uh, they wanted me to get sucked underneath and chopped up and they couldn't wait to see my blood flow in the water and I just remember like being like wow like it had a very demonic um, feel to it and um, I remember in the dream I was just standing there and I was just listening to them and then all of a sudden one of them came bursting through that door and ran straight at me. And I remember there was no time to think. And we were struggling. He was trying to grab me and I was trying to defend myself. And then all of a sudden, I, without even thinking, I just picked the guy up and I threw him overboard. And I remember being shocked. And I think that the, the men inside these whatever they were, I guess they were men, inside, I remember that they were kind of surprised. 
And so for like a split second, they were really quiet. And I was, I remember being surprised in myself. And then it didn't take long though. Another one came, another one came after me. And when he came, it was a harder struggle, but I was able to grab onto him. And I remember this time it was, I was still able to somehow pick the guy up and I was struggling though. I was struggling more, but I was still able to have the strength to pick the man up and like, I was trying to get him. I was pushing him over the railing. I didn't get, I didn't have the strength to like throw him over. I was just like trying to like shove him over the railing. And I remember thinking in the dream, just as he was going over the railing into the water, I remember thinking, my strength is is um, dwindling down, and if another one comes at me, I don't think that I could do it. I don't think that I could could um, save myself. I don't think I, I could throw him overboard because I was getting exhausted. But just as I said that, and just as I pushed that guy overboard, another one was on top of me. He was... He was right there. He was grabbing hold of me. We were fighting for our lives and just, it was like tug of war on our bodies and like who could get the grip to push the other person over. And just then I grabbed, I was able to grab hold of his body and I picked him up and I threw him. And, and here's the thing. I was on one side of the ferry and Instead of being, instead of throwing him to where I was over that railing, I picked him up and I threw him on, I threw him the other way and he went flying and he went flying all the way onto the other side over the railing and into the water. And I remember just being like amazed and I ran over there and I looked over the railing and I saw, I saw his blood he had been sucked underneath and the blood was mixing in the water and I saw it pooling out in the water and it was really interesting because the exact same thing that they had said they wanted to happen to me was what happened to them and I remember standing there looking over and I it got it was completely quiet. Anybody else who was in that covered room, they were dead silent. No one came after me anymore. Everyone just shut their mouths and no one else came after me. And um, that was the end of that dream. Now, in the first dream that I told you about, um, clearly the Lord was telling me to turn back. Don't go down that road. Um, and in the second, he was trying to protect me. And in the second dream, <laughs> he literally gave me this strength that there's no way, there was no way I could have had that strength on my own. And there were these, these black, um, figures that look like men, they uh, were clearly demonic and spirits or representing um, how Satan is going to try to, to wear us down. He's going to try to trick us. He's going to try to come after us. He is, and he hates us. He hates us so much. He, anyone who is living for the Lord is a target of Satan. And, um, Satan hates you if you live for the Lord, but you should not be afraid because the Lord is going to protect you. If you are living for him, he promises your protection and, and he can do miraculous things. And I just wanted you guys to hear that because it, it was a huge, huge encouragement to me. Um, this one really touched me a lot because I've been dealing with some battles, a lot of spiritual battles, 
So this was a huge, huge encouragement to me. I hope it was for you. And we don't need to fear the things that happen around us. And I know that things are going to get worse. They're going to get worse. And if you are not secure in the Lord, if you are not trusting in Him, you're going to be afraid. But if you are trusting in Him, you have no reason to fear. Because He, he promises that He will take care of you. And um, so I wanted to give you that message, uh, those dreams. I'm going to, I'm probably not going to record any more videos tonight. I did get a pretty good um, chunk of the way through these, but I uh, hope you guys were able to get some rest tonight, and um, I hope that you are being able to spend some time in prayer and in the Word, and most importantly, repenting of your sins to the Lord daily, and trusting in Him in all things.